arrows, tube liners, and baguettes are just some of the new releases to grace the simulation world last week. Hi there, folks. My name's Novawing24, and welcome to the Nova app, your one-stop location for all your simulation release news and goings-on from the week that was. So here we are on Sunday, the 30th of June, 2024, with me feeling rather sad and sorry for myself because I managed to get fragged with COVID on my way back from Flight Sim Expo. So I am not feeling the best at the moment, but the news continues where, no matter how I'm feeling. So we are here with the report for the week. So let's jump straight into it this week with the release from PMDG of a certain tube liner that they've been hinting at for quite some time and the community has been, well clamoring for at least the tube liner members of our family extended flight simulation family anyway uh so the uh, P the team over pmdg have once again uh, continued on with their boeing developments with the release of their rendition of the triple seven three hundred er for microsoft flight simulator uh marking the second uh of the boeing airframe types for them to release for the simulator uh and uh designed more for the long haul tube liner pilots amongst you uh, so basically this isn't just a, you know, reboot of their old FSX and prepared model. Like this is a, this is a new build that's got new features, um, it's got a universal flight tablet allowing you to link the sim, sim brief and navigraph to do all your performance calculations. It's got seamless integration with GSX so you can do your turnarounds. Uh, it's got a new uh, data link service there to connect to the Hoppy network. I'm, I am honestly, I'm not a tube liner pilot so I have no idea what any of that means uh, but apparently it is something that the community wants. So yay for that. Uh, highly detailed rendition as we usually see from the team over at PMDG. Full support, full implementation of, the, of all the avionics, uh, flight tech support, um, brakes, error, physics have all been custom modelled, including brake heating and uh, glowing, which I actually got to see during the during Flight Sim Expo. Uh, there was uh, a couple of uh, the streamers who were streaming live from uh, from Flight Sim Expo were actually streaming the, the PMDG Triple Seven. It was actually really cool and really interesting um, seeing the brake heating, overheating animation and actually like seeing the, seeing the brakes glow and actually seeing the heat rising off it. So that, that was kind of cool. I will 100% say that. Uh, along with that, it's got a number of other things in model there, including failure modeling uh, based on... Uh, the age of the part and how you fly the aircraft. So if you treat her incorrectly, then she's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Uh, beyond that, it's as I said, it's over looking pretty cool. Some thing, interesting things that's kind of there. I don't know if this was something that was there previously, uh, but it was kind of interesting. It was that they've got a full detailed um, cabin modeling, but not just like of the usual things of like, you know, there are airline screens and there are seats in there. Okay, cool story. Yeah. We kind of expected that, but the actual atmospherics of the cabin as well. So your actual air conditioning system, um, including like yeah, you know, the, how the temperatures evolve during flight, during different stages of flight, and also whether or not you're flying in daylight or at night. Like that, that will actually affect the temperature of the inside of the aircraft. So that's kind of cool and kind of option, uh, kind of kind of interesting thing to add in. Um, something that I did note, we had had a bit of a chuckle at, I'm not going to lie, was the fact that this uh, rendition of the 777 uh, reintroduces uh, time compression. Uh, and to quote the team over at FS Elite, uh, time compression returns, meaning you can do long haul flights in just a fraction of the time. I'm just going to walk away from that. But anyway, I just thought it was a, a interesting thing to note for that one. Uh, so th this is available now from the PMDG store, PMDG store for $77.73. Uh, long distance high five for the implementation for marketing there. Kind of cool story, that one. Uh, but it is also coming to uh, Marketplace in the near future for both PC and for Xbox users. So don't worry, folks. You haven't been forgotten. Uh, this is going to be coming to the Marketplace near you soon. But otherwise, for PC users, available now from PMDG. Continuing on with the releases for Microsoft Flight Simulator now, the team over at France VFR have released their latest pack of airports with the release of their Sud-Ouest VFR airports or Southwest France VFR airports. Um, so this is a pretty big pack, this one. So 32 locations, including 28 enhanced airports, uh, uh, civilian airports and airfields, as well as uh, four large military airports. So uh, quite a big pack, this one. Uh, so it comes with the usual details from uh, from France VFR, a mixture of uh, custom modeling and uh, reuse of uh, default um 
models, uh, but custom overlay with custom photo real imagery used throughout and, and overall adding to your VFR experience. Now, if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 40 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from France VFR. Continue on with Microsoft Flight Simulator Airport releases now. The team over at Northern Sky Studio uh, have released their latest Hawaiian airport with the release of Lihu Airport on the island of Kauai. Uh, so this is a, an interesting little airport. I, I have uh, flown out of there in real life uh, as well as in the sim many, many, uh, for many, many times. I am a big fan of the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, and it's interesting because it offers uh, one of the few islands that offers scheduled um, long-haul flights coming in from the continental US and from Canada. Uh, so this gives us a custom, a custom airport layout as it appears during at the end of 2023 with all airport buildings modelled, custom details, and uh, it isn't just for uh, uh, long-haul pilots or GA pilots, this one, uh, because there is a lot of helicopter-based tourism in the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, they have, the team have taken time to model all of the helicopter operators that call this airport home as well, uh, including uh, island helicopters with their Jurassic Falls uh, flight experience. So kind of cool, that one. Um, usual details for this one, as I said, looking pretty good. Like I, I, it's been really great seeing how Northern Sky, Northern Sky Studios has evolved as a developer and their work continues to be solid uh, throughout. So looking great. Now, if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 18 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix Direct. Continuing on with airport releases, and this one's a kind of interesting one. And to be honest, I was kind of surprised that this one didn't get included with the old uh, Top Gun Maverick release. To be honest, uh, so this is the uh, release from Sundowner Sim uh, of the of Inc. Inokan Airport. I am absolutely sure I butchered the pronunciation of that one. Uh, specifically, this is the airport where. Uh, uh, Maverick, uh, aka Tom Cruise, uh, keeps his P fifty one stored. Uh, so, which is also which it features prominently in the movie Top Gun Maverick. Uh, but it is it is his actual hangar uh, where he stores his own P fifty one. So this is a highly detailed rendition of the airport. Well, okay, highly detailed. I wouldn't be one hundred percent sure on that one. Um, it uses the default photo reel um, and overlays um, materials on it. I mean, they don't look terrible, that's for sure. I've definitely seen far worse. Um, but overall, yeah, not looking too bad. Custom buildings used for all the airport buildings mostly have been done in custom. Uh, a couple of reuses of existing assets, but overall, definitely bringing that airport to life. And if you want to pick, up, pick this one up, you can pick this one up for a very reasonable price of 11 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Miltech Simulations. Moving out of the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator now, moving to the world of X-Plane, the team over at Just Flight in partnership with Theranda Designs have brought across their update to their Piper PA-28R Arrow 3 to X-Plane 12. Uh, so this aircraft, uh, I absolutely love it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And once again, the team over at Just Flight have partnered with Theranda Designs to bring the improvements and bring the updates over to X-Plane. And they have once again done a fantastic job. So high definition textures used throughout. Uh, a great custom 3D model, uh, custom avionics used throughout, and overall a great performance, including all of the failures and all the things that we got to experience in the Microsoft Flight Simulator version. Now, if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 43 US dollars or your original equivalent, available now from Just Flights. And rounding out the flight simulation news this week, the team over at TSG Simulations and via Dovetail Games have released their latest train for Train Sim World 4, release of the Deutsche Bahnhof BR218 diesel locomotive. So this is a highly detailed rendition of a 1960s era train, which still soldiers on to, um, uh, to this day, though mostly in more private hands. Uh, gives us a highly detailed rendition of it with the Deutsche Bahnhof uh, traffic red livery. A number of rolling stocks, uh, true-to-life performance and handling, uh, feature-rich driving cabs with tutorials, as well as four scen uh, scenarios and a timetable route for the Humstoke hamburg lubeck route. And if you want to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for $18 US or your original equivalent, available now on Steam. And with that, folks, that does now round up the over for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these videos and want to see more. And, of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search Novawing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.